A man used to be upon Sunnah and then suddenly he's not. Man used to be a supporter of Sunnah and then suddenly he is not. Like I said earlier, you should understand why do these individuals become someone who is known? Because as long as they were supporters of the Sunnah, they had a a, a portion in the ayah wa rafa'na laka dhikra and we have raised your mentioning so whoever mentions the sunnah supports the sunnah talks about the sunnah pushes the sunnah he will be, his mentioning will be raised he has a portion of the ayah but soon as he strays from this matter he has a portion of wa inna sha'ni akahu al abtar and verily your enemy he is cut off Soon as becomes the enemy of the Sunnah of Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then he is cut off. So these individuals who were upon Hidayah guidance once, and then they came to misguidance, upon Sunnah once, what appeared to the people, and then they came up on Bid'ah, people go ask about them. They go to the likes of Sheikh Rabi ibn Hadi al Madkhali. They go to the likes of Saleh Fawzan Fawzan. They go to the likes of this one and that, Abdul Muhsin Abad, and so on and so forth. They go and ask. And such it was in the life of Imam Ahmad rahimullah, they used to ask, they said the matter of karabasi because these guys don't stop they were shouting, howling, screaming sunnah now they're shouting, howling, screaming bid'ah they were traveling around with sunnah now they travel around with bid'ah they don't just disappear so then the people become confused I used to look at this man as a man of sunnah when some say he is and some say he's not what do you say Imam Ahmad? so this is how it was with karabasi so Imam Ahmad said, Iyaka wa Iyaka, woe to you, woe to you, wa hadha karabasi, in this karabasi. La tukallimu, don't speak to him. Wa la tukallimu man yukallimu, and don't speak those who speak to him. Don't speak with those who speak to him. He said it four times. Woe to you, woe to you from this karabasi. Don't speak to him, and don't speak to those who speak to him. Woe to you, woe to you from karabasi. Don't speak to him, and don't speak to those who speak with him. Woe to you, woe to you from karabasi. And like this. And this is aqeed of ahl sunnah wal jama'ah. They warned about karabasi. So a person can be up in stakama, but if you don't have touch read al mutabi'ah isolating the Prophet ﷺ and restricting your obedience and your following to Muhammad Abdullah ﷺ and you take personalities when they flip you will flip and when they're wrong and it's clear to everyone that they're wrong you will be the one defending them so he said this and he said that he meant this he meant that you'll go into his intentions Saying they don't know his intention as if you know his intention. You go to his intention. He meant this, he intended this, he intended that. You'll make excuses and mistakes. Whereas as we begun the lecture we said, al haq the truth is above everyone. We will not sacrifice the truth for anyone, but we will sacrifice everyone for the truth. The truth, the haq. So when you come into this issue of personalities, the harms as he says, or has called it, the harms of these personalities is very wide and clear. The harms can harm you in your tawheed al-uluhiyya, your tawheed al-ibadah, worship of Allah. It can harm you in your tawheed al-ittiba. It can harm you because you can fall into taqlid. It can harm you because you can fall into taqdis, making this person holy. This person suddenly is ma'asum. He's perfect. And there's no one ma'asum except Muhammad salam. Everyone makes mistakes except Muhammad salam who's been perfected by the revelation that Allah has given him. He was ma'asum. Everyone else makes mistakes. Everyone else can say something wrong. Everyone else can do something wrong. Everyone else can relate something incorrect. Everyone else can misunderstand. Everyone else can make a mistake. So when you make this individual ma'asum, you're giving him the position, whether you wanted to or not, of Muhammad ibn Abdullah sallallahu alayhi wa